This time on Rad Rat Video, we're talking about whether it's possible to cheat in playing a game of Skate. Are there dirty tricks you shouldn't do? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel where we discuss skateboarding as much as possible. Today I'm answering some of your questions on my series Ask Rad Rat. If you want to submit your own, go to radratvideo.com or Patreon and you can submit them through there. Okay, first one today is from your mom. It says, hey Rad Rat, I know if an extra spin is done on a big spin or big flip, it's called a bigger spin or bigger flip. What if there is an even extra spin in those tricks? What would it be called and has it ever been done? I'm sure someone would call it a biggest flip, but I don't think they should. Um, at that point, I don't even like saying bigger spin. I At that point, I just say use the number, call the 540 big spin, that's what I would usually say. You could call it a 720 big spin for the trick you're talking about, um, which I'm sure has been done. I can't think of anyone who's done it, but yeah, so I would say a 720 big spin, 720 big flip. Uh, if your body is a 360, um, so a, a gazelle is your body doing a 360 board doing a 540. You can say a 720 gazelle for the board doing a 720, your body doing a 360, 900 gazelle. If your body's spinning more than 360, you're probably on vert. So I doubt you're doing a shove it. Uh, so that's about as much as you would ever need, I think. Okay, next one is from Brendan, who says, a quick one, just wondering where you got the Crookie Monster and Smithers Grind phrases from. I think they're hilarious. And was also wondering if you had any more like that. Love you dearly. Oh, um, so Smithers just comes from Mr. Smithers on, on The Simpsons. I think me or my friend Tony came up with that. I'm pretty sure uh, one of us is responsible for that. I don't remember which one, probably him. Uh, and then Crookie Monster, I have no idea. Um, that was either from forums back in the day. I mean, I might have come up with it. I don't think that I did though, but yeah, that's, that's old. I've been, I've been saying that for since probably high school. Um, so for me, that's what, uh, graduated in 2006. So 14 plus years ago. Uh, so I, yeah, it's been so long. I don't, I don't really remember. Uh, it might've been the, the, the guys in school that skated. I never skated with them. I wasn't allowed to, um, my parents wouldn't let me like hang out with anybody in school. So, uh, yeah, our, the extent of our skateboarding discussions would be like, Hey, I learned how to do a 360 flip, uh, after school yesterday. And they'd say, you don't even know how to kick flip nerd. And then that would be it, you know? <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, I don't know who's responsible for that one, but I like it. Oh, uh, the other one that I say is a Chris Reeves was a front nose stall revert. Um, but I don't have the need to use that very much. And it's not obvious what you're talking about, but that's just one of the other ones me and Tony came up with. Okay. Next question is from Ethan. In one of your Ask Rad Rat videos, I saw you have what looks like an old 80s vert board. I think the plastic nose guard and rails are cool. Is it vintage or a recreation? It would be cool to see you try some tricks on it or just a quick show of it and any other old slash weirder boards you might have. And this is the only, it's right here. This is the only like vintage board that I have. And I have it for obvious reasons because it says Rad Rat on it. Um, I did not name myself after this. Someone showed me that that name was already existed, although they doubled the D's and the T's. Um, I have been wanting to skate this, but you can't. Like these are plastic uh, wheels. So like if I did anything, it'd probably just explode. I think the base plate, yeah, the base plate is also plastic. So like this, and if you stand on the board itself, oh, there's a spider web on the board now, cool. Um, I got almost murdered by a spider right before I started filming. There was one behind me. It was huge and it started, it like leaned back and it started pawing at me with like three or four of its legs. It was like, it could see me from six feet away and it was like trying to swipe at me. I, I hate it here. Anyway, uh, this board is so, uh, flimsy that if you stand on it, it just kind of bends. So. You know, because I own that just for the graphic, um, I'm not going to try to skate it and probably ruin it instantly. But I have been keeping an eye out for one. I know I could just buy an old uh, board from the 80s on eBay or whatever, but I've been trying to keep an eye out if I go to like garage sales or a, a pawn shop or uh, an antique store or something like that. I've always been keeping an eye out for some old school boards. I haven't I haven't run into one yet, but when I do, I was thinking of making a video 
where I show like tricks you could have done like street trick, like the very earliest street tricks or like the types of non Ollie versions of stuff. I think that was the topic. And I actually filmed some on my freestyle board, like the old school types of shove it's where you don't pop, you know, like off the nose and stuff. And, you know, filming all the different variations. That was like four years ago. And I have not yet seen a street, like an old school non freestyle, like street slash vert board that I could buy yet. Um, again, I know I could just buy one on the internet, but I don't, I want one, but I don't want one enough to pay shipping for it. Okay. The last question is from Guy. He says, a lot of the times when I set a trick in a game of skate, people say that it is a dirty trick. For example, hospital flips, hard flips, heel flips, impossibles. Do you think that a trick can be dirty? If so, what makes a trick dirty? So like, yeah, is it, is it possible to, to cheat in a game of skate? Uh... I think, well, cheat might be a bad way to phrase it. I don't think you can cheat in a game of skate unless you do the wrong trick and try to convince somebody that it was what they did. That's the only way I think you could actually cheat or lie about your toe touching or something along those lines. But we're talking about like bad sportsmanship, you know? And for me, uh, I used to play skate with my friend Tony all the time. And our, our rule was that the other person has to have landed that trick before. So it gives... You know, like there's a chance that they're going to land it. You're not just going to do all this weird stuff that they've never tried. Like, that's not fun. You just knock them out in five tricks. Where's the fun in that? You know, so that was our, our rule. Uh, you can't really enforce that with like random people. You've been to the skate park before, uh, unless you ask first, you know, if it's like a really friendly game. Like, oh, do you have uh, switch flips? OK, and then you try to do one. You could do that. But I mean, yeah, that's more of like a close friends who you would know that thing, that type of thing about with. Um, but he would still do really cheap stuff anyway. Like I can do I have landed every heel flip straight. I've done most of the spinning ones except for a switch backside. And he's really good at that stuff. So when it when he got the uh, and I'm 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 terrible at him. I, I've done them all. I can do a normal heel flip reasonably consistently. Uh, switch, I've got a decent chance. Um, most of the rest of them, I'm probably not going to land. It would take me a couple of tries, but in a game of skate, it's, it's a letter. So when it was his set, he'd do heel flip, nollie heel flip, switch heel flip, fakie heel flip, half cab heel flip both ways, nollie front side heel flip, double heel. You know, I'm out already. That's eight. Like if I got lucky on a couple of those, I'm out. And so that, that wasn't as fun. So, uh, yeah, but I, I could do lots of cheap stuff, too. Like if I were to play a game of skate with a random person at the skate park, I could do a pressure flip. How many people really do pressure flips? Not that many. So that's almost a, a, a free letter for a lot of people. Uh, a hospital flip is a very uncommon trick. But like that's the type of skating I like to do. I like to do stuff that isn't the most common in the world, you know? Like I can 360 flip, but I'd be better at it if I did that more often and didn't do some of this other weird stuff. So in a way, it's fair. I've chosen to spend my time getting good at tricks that you don't care about. But like, am I not allowed to do stuff I'm, I'm good at? It, it, it just kind of it, it kind of depends. I think for me, what you have to do is just kind of feel out the game. OK, like if it's if you're both at the same exact uh, level and you're going to just try to win, do anything you have to do. If you can tell you're a little bit above the other person's uh, level, maybe you give them a break, you do some more common stuff or or you ask first and and that type of thing. I've, I, I've done that playing games of skate with uh, with uh, random people, too. There's a kid at the skate park recently and he just came up and challenged me like he hadn't seen me skate. I hadn't seen him skate didn't never met each other before and he was doing like kick flips and pop shove and half cabs and stuff like that so i tried to keep things a little more simple um but yeah like if you're just trying to win that's okay but it's a friendly game no one's keeping score no one's like you know it's not a competition at the skate park anyway it's not a competition you're not going to win any money at the end i, I would prefer to be more sporting about it and actually have fun than just try to obliterate the other person but that's just me i'd probably lose most games anyway if i played more than once every couple of years but 
yeah, so you you could be be dirty. It's up to you to how much you want to tone that back. But yeah, I would say just focus on the fun and the helping the other person grow is a thing too. You know, like if I always get you, like if Tony always gets me on a nolly heel flip, I better learn it. You know, like that type of thing. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. If you have your own questions, go to radratvideo.com or Patreon and submit them there and I may answer them in a future video. Thanks for watching.